So today we are going to see how to install Apache with PHP in Ubuntu 20. So first of all, let us open the terminal. So before installing Apache, you need to update the package manager inside Ubuntu. So first of all, let's do sudo apt update. So this will prompt you for the password. So let it update the all the package manager. It will take few minutes. So now all packages are updated. So let us install Apache. So for that you need to run the command sudo apt install apache2 this is going to install apache in your ubuntu it will prompt you just need to provide yes so our apache has been installed now we can check the status of apache using this command sudo apt sudo service apache2 status and it shows that our apache has been installed and it's already running so we can op open our browser and write localhost and you will see this page this is the confirmation that our apache has been installed successfully so the page you see here i'm talking about this entire page is rendering from the uh, default document root of apache and the default document root of apache is located at this path slash where slash triple w slash html so let us uh, open this uh, path and see what's residing inside so let's just copy and paste so here you see the index.html from which the browsering browser is rendering this page basically this index.html so the whole content you see here is coming from this index.html so if we somehow rename or remove the index.html and create our own so let us first rename this index.html and let's say index-old and create our own index file so as of now I'm not allowed to create in this folder so I can create it using terminal so let's say sudo index sorry sudo touch index.html I will prompt for the password so our own index.html file has been created here so now let us put some content some custom content inside our index.html file so let us edit it inside vi editor so let's enter into the write mode and write some custom code let's say h1 this is my custom index and close the h1 tag and to quit the editor you can simply press escape colon and wq and then put the exclamation and hit enter so this will write the content inside our index.html so let us jump back to the browser and see our changes let's just reload it and here you can see uh, our custom index page is being displayed so here we can see that index file is the default file that runs without entering anything after that localhost so if we want to run any other file except this uh, index.html 
then we can do so by putting the name of the file after localhost and slash say for example we are already having this file that we renamed earlier so we can copy this file and paste the name of the file behind localhost and slash and hit enter and we can see that we can still be able to see the old uh, old apache 2 index page uh, let's create one more document using the terminal let's say sudo touch test.html let's put something inside this file sudo vi test.html this is test file we have saved the test file so now if we want to run this test file we can simply copy the name of this file open the browser and put the name behind localhost and slash and we can see the test.html is executing on the browser so now we are going to install php after installing apache so let us open the terminal again and first of all let's add a repository for the php by using this command so again it will prompt for the password hit enter it will take few seconds so I will fast forward it so now we will uh, update the packages again so again we need to do sudo apt update and it will again update the packages so now our all packages are updated again after adding the repository of php so now we need to specify the version of php along with the command to install the php so the command going to be sudo apt install php let's say we are going to install php version 8.1 which is currently the highest number of version available in php so it will prompt for the confirmation so just provide yes again this is going to take a few seconds so again i'll fast forward that so the process is completed now so let us check the version of php that we just installed by this command php-v and it will show us that php 8.1.11 has been installed so now if we want to execute any php file from browser then we just need to create a php file within this document root so technically it will be here we need to create one php file so let us again jump back to the uh, terminal and create any php file so let's say sudo touch let's say info dot php so this will create file inside the document root now let's put some uh, command inside this info.php by editing it inside the vi editor so let's say sudo vi info.php let's put one function of php that gives us the information about the uh, php version and other important things so the function is going to be php info let's close this tag 
let save and quit this editor okay so our info.php file has been created here so now let's just jump back to the browser and write the name of that file here info.php and hit enter so here you can see it returns the uh, version of php along with the other important information regarding our php so that is it for this video have a nice time